Crock-Pot Meal is not my jam. Shooting me with words, but I will let them bruise. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright, like a ricochet. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. I'm Liz. I am a stay at home mom of one three year old little boy hi. named Jack. Wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm day, Jack. This is Jack. He's my buddy, right? Yeah. Today's video is a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers on here, and um, it is hosted by Christy Osborne. So thank you so much, Christy, for hosting today's collab. Um, this is a very exciting one because I love Crock-Pot meals. Crock-Pot meals are, Crock-Pot meals are my jam. I'm a busy mom, and my Jack keeps me super busy, right? Yeah, you do. Um, so if I can get dinner in early and it be ready for us to sit at the table at 5.30 every night, I'm all about it. I quickly wanted to show you guys. So in honor of Hocus Pocus, the second one coming out today, I'm wearing my Hocus Pocus shirt. I put it on my storefront. Um, I got it on Amazon maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Um, I love it. It's cozy. It's comfy. Um, I will put it the link below in my storefront. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. So today is going to be a chicken stuffing and Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese, why is that so hard to say? Chicken stuffing and Swiss cheese crock pot meal. It is delicious. I grew up with it always being in the oven. Um, my mom used to make this. My mom used to make this for us when we were little and I love it. It's such a comfort food for me. Um, my whole family loves it. My husband eats like two or three helpings of it. Jack even likes it. He's not a huge fan of chicken, unless it's chicken nuggets. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll show you guys what I put in it. So the Swiss cheese I don't usually put on until the end. Um, sometimes, depending on how rushed I am, sometimes I'll put it on um, like before and then just keep it in the crock pot. But most of the time, I don't usually put it on until like maybe the last hour. All right, guys, sorry, you're gonna hear the train in the background. Um, so this is what you're gonna need. So you can use frozen or fresh chicken. I usually use frozen chicken. Um, I've used both, so honestly, it comes out the same. Um, so that's fine, you can use whatever you need, whatever you, whatever you have on hand. You're gonna need two boxes of stuffing. You can use the chicken or the turkey. Um, I like the chicken one. The, best I think um, but the turkey one is good too it doesn't really matter I don't think it there's a huge taste difference um, it just has good seasoning in it so it's good um, you need some chicken stock cream of mushroom soup I have two cans of that you can use like a family one um, salt and pepper some Swiss cheese and some butter all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my chicken and you can spray your crock pot too. Um, probably should have, but you can also use the liners. Liners too, the liners are really nice. Um, I didn't have any on hand, so we are just going with what we got. So I put my two chicken breasts in there. I usually measure with my heart. So I'm gonna add some chicken stock in here, maybe like half the carton. Some salt and pepper. Okay. Now I don't add a lot of salt because the broth has a lot of salt in it, so I usually just add a bunch of pepper. And then I'm going to add the cream of mushroom soup. I'm 
then also to make it creamier too, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. You can use whatever milk you have on hand. I'm just gonna use whole milk. So I'm just gonna take the can and probably put like half in there. Like that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna give that a good zhuzh. And I've also like added um, mushrooms to it too, to give it even more of like a mushroom flavor and taste. Um, it's kind of nice because it's like a different texture. All right, so then I think I'm gonna add some cheese. I think I'm gonna add cheese now and then I'll add more cheese on after. And this is going to melt into it, so it kind of doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm only going to do probably like half. Then I'm going to add my stuffing mixture. The last thing I'm going to do is I cut up some butter, and I'm going to just add some butter on top. And that's it, you guys. It's so easy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it on low. And it's 10 o'clock now, around 5.30, 6 o'clock. It should be ready to go. All right, guys, that's what's for dinner, chicken and stuffing. I can't wait to show you guys like what this looks like in like around dinner time in like eight hours. It's so delicious, it's so comforting. Um, I eat, for me, you guys know I'm on my journey for weight loss. I had weight loss surgery back in March of this year. So the stuffing, this is obviously not the healthiest option. Um, I could have made it healthier, but this to me is just screams comfort. So this to me just screams comfort and I can definitely eat the chicken and, and this, you know, like the soup is gonna go into the stuffing. So it's gonna be like this delicious, yummy texture, but, the chicken is really what I am going for. Um, and then we'll have it with like green beans and a salad. So also I've seen people add green beans to the crock pot. So you could do that too. You could add, you can add anything you want to this. That's the cool thing about crock pots is you can do whatever. I mean, you can follow a recipe, but you can tweak it the way you need it. Um, I will leave the recipe that I found on Pinterest down below in the description box. Also of all the YouTubers that are collabing um, on this video today. Thank you, Christy, for um, hosting it today's collab with all of these wonderful YouTubers. I can't wait to see all of the recipes that all of these women have prepared. Um, this is a perfect time. It's like, let's see, Alexa, what's the temperature out right now? It's 51 degrees right now. Um, we live in upstate New York, for those of you that don't know. And it is, fall is my favorite season. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like for dinner. And um, yeah, so when I, we're gonna run some errands right now, but when we get home, it smells so divine in here. And that's, that's the best part about a crock pot. You go to work, you come back home and you're like, dinner is ready. Your whole house smells delicious. It's just perfect. I Whoever invented the crock pot is a genius. So thank you, whoever did. I'll see you guys at dinner time and I'll show you what it looks like. So stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's now 4.30. Let's see. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. I'm just gonna give it a good stir. I wish they had smell of vision so I should have sprayed it because then it wouldn't be sticking, but that's okay. So I think I'm gonna add the Swiss cheese on now. And honestly, I don't love to break apart the chicken. I think it dries it out. So I usually just keep it in there, like a whole breast in there, and then like I'll break it apart when we eat it. 
I'm gonna add the cheese. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kinda like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. This is what it looks like. So cheap. Alright, you guys, this is dinner tonight. Recording me is recording me eating that cheese stick. I'm dead. I can't. What brings my hair like this? Are you pippy long stocking? Oh, you guys. Oh my god, there's bugs up there. <gasps> Ew. I know it's gonna be my next cleaning video.